Lunar Lander was an arcade game released by Atari in 1979. Players had to manipulate the lander's bottle to gently land on the moon. The right bottle setting depends on altitude and speed. It's not easy to land gently while using little fuel. This type of problem is easily solved using fuzzy logic. Although fuzzy logic has received somewhat of a bad rap because it was once typed as a silver bullet to all problems, it does make some things easier, especially configuring a complex control function with human intuition. With fuzzy logic, we can create smooth continuous mapping functions defined by just two set points that relate the variable being mapped to human concepts. High, low, fast, slow. Viewport includes an object that implements a fuzzy logic engine and is controlled graphically by Viewport. Let's get started by looking at Viewport's Lunar Lander tutorial. This program uses fuzzy logic to land on the moon. Here's the physics section. We integrate the acceleration due to gravity and throttle to get the speed of a lander. Then we integrate the speed to get the height above the surface. We'll use met the metric system for all our measurements. The moon's gravity is only one-sixth of Earth, so 1.6. We use fixed point math, so our number is 1,600. Our starting height is 50 meters, and our starting speed is 10 meters per second squared. For each run, we start at our initial height and our initial speed for each of the two lunar landers. One of the landers is controlled by fuzzy logic. The other is controlled by a variable that we can control in viewport. To use fuzzy logic, we map numbers into fuzzy logic classes. We'll map the lander's height into three classes, high, low, and landed. We'll also map the lander's speed into three classes, fast, slow, and stopped. Viewport lets us graphically control and visualize these classes. We complete the throttle class membership using an AND rule. Finally, we defuzzify the throttle by applying a function that maps full, medium, and off throttle positions to actual throttle positions. Let's load the tutorial to the propeller and land on the moon with fuzzy logic. The fuzzy logic view shows us the value of the altitude, velocity, and throttle variables, each with five fuzzy classes. We're using the right three fuzzy classes. The rightmost is the high altitude, high velocity, and high throttle position class. The next shows the medium height, medium velocity, and medium throttle position. And the one in the middle shows the um, close to the moon, low velocity, and no throttle position class. Notice that the lunar lander starts with a high velocity and a high altitude and then gradually goes closer to the moon's surface. The throttle position is manipulated by fuzzy logic to gently land on the moon. In this widget, we can watch the variables change over time. Let's also plot the second lunar lander's altitude, velocity, and throttle and use the dial to control the throttle of the second lander. It's not easy to land gently on the moon. To change the behavior of a fuzzy logic controller, we can change the constants that define the set points for the classes. For example, I can change the low altitude to 2000 instead of 5000. I can also change the AND mapping table that will also affect the controller. If you're interested in learning more, please download Viewport from mydancebot.com. Thanks for watching.